I've known that since I was 17 years old. That's how long Rush Limbaugh's been on the air. Imagine, I am so fulfilled, I got pregnant, and then I killed the baby. I mean, selling it like, and, and, and the videos and the photos are women rubbing pregnant women's bellies. You know, women that are got their heads screwed on straight, rub another woman's belly, and it's so cute and fun, and oh, you feel the baby kick. Now you feel it kick and go, oh my gosh, we're going to kill this baby. We're going to chop it up. Ooh, this is sexy. Hell, Satan. There's Bloomberg. Gloria Stein and Henry Kissinger have in common. CIA. Wow, I didn't even know Bloomberg admitted that. Yeah, Kissinger was OSS with David Rockefeller when they were both young men in World War II. Rockefeller was actually in Germany for three years. David was in the OSS under British intelligence. That's declassified. Actually working with the Nazis while gathering intel. And they were the second largest funders of Adolf Alois Hitler. And David is the man who set up the UN. David, 97 years old. David Rockefeller charts our world. He is the king of earth right now. He is the emperor. His handwriting is across everything. Planned Parenthood, the abortions, the fake sexual revolution, destroy the family, all. Every major UN organization, over 100 of them, he funded, he runs it. Black op commander at the age of 16 in Nazi Germany. Imagine the level of service to evil. I'm going to skip this network break. I've got to skip it. It's too important. The babies are worth it. So, she goes on to talk about how the, it was the total fulfillment. The guy wasn't involved in the decision. It's her decision. I'm a lucky girl, she goes on to say. I'm feeling love from everyone in the room during the abortion, which she describes like I was giving birth. Now, this is pure. Either she was she was literally literally uh, like a seance, if you believe in that, literally a medium for a demon, or she was given talking points. I believe in talking points. Imagine giving birth is killing your baby. It's being fulfilled. It's being loved with cooing women. Imagine a, a satanic movie where they're about to sacrifice the baby, and they're like, ooh, the baby, the love, the freedom. Oh, 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 ooh. I mean, that would be ten times creepier than the movies they've made where the Satanists are like, ooh, with the baby, like they really do it. This is beyond that. Where you're like, it's beautiful. It's gonna, it's a birth. Chopped up dead baby. Ooh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. I, I mean, this is what they've become. Pure evil. She goes on to say, let's say the whole experience will always be a special memory for me, adding that she kept the sonogram of the baby as a memento. Now, this is 100% in criminology what hardcore sadistic psychopaths do. Not just psychopaths that will kill you and don't care. Sadistic Ted Bundy, they keep mementos, they keep photos. I mean, I mean, 101 first-year criminology that a cop is taught. Every cop listening knows what that is. This is... Every psychologist knows this is hard core evil, flaunting it out in the open, saying we'll kill babies up to age three, two plus two equals five, your kids belong to the state. It's meant to just get you off balance and set the precedent for hell itself. Now, I'm going to play, unedited, I'm not going to talk over it, I'm going to play the video, her indictment that she's proud of, her self-indictment, where they, they, they celebrate the most magic moment of her life. And again, many of these abortion clinics, we showed you the articles earlier, it's come out, are satanic covens. I'm not saying that's here, but it might as well be. This is it, folks. We're going to air this right now and then get Paul Watson's take on it, who's holding on Skype from England, who wrote the article. But I want Watson to add all the other articles about killing babies up to age three, all of it, to show people the compendium of the Hail Satan videos of the Texas Capitol, all of it, with women just shaking their breast, their tongues hanging out, just slathering the evil. Because they can feel the dark power. They can feel the satanic energy, and they like it. Because they bring people up very weak and very empty. They've never been given true power. And so the dark reflection of power, like a moth to flame, they're very attracted to it with the Jezebel spirit. Okay, let's go to this Moloch ritual 
Uh, you'll hear the audio for people watching. It's unbelievable. We're streaming this right now at prisonplanet.tv, free streams at infowars.com forward slash show. If you want to watch the actual ritual, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. And then Let's we just talk. My name is Emily Letts. Hi. Hi. I am a, a patient advocate at the Cherry Hill Women's Center. I talk with women before their abortion procedures. I found out that I am pregnant. Hey, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and... I can't help but hit pause. We're going to play it all again from the start. Maybe do 30 minutes with Watson in the next hour. I said, I, I said, I, it's all sold, totally fake, clearly, for young girls and young women watching. Oh, my gosh. Oh, ooh, pregnant. Oh, gross. Oh, ooh, bad. That's what she's saying with her body language. Oh, oh, oh. There's one thing to do. It's magic. It was great. It's so much fun. It's like I gave birth, a memento. Okay, I'm going to play it unedited now. I'm just, it's just hard to watch and not counter it for radio listeners that can't see the body language. Here it is. Oh, I'm pretty early. I'm not ready to have children. Yeah, I'm going to be having an abortion tomorrow morning. What I need you to do is ring up the back of your gown. Okay. Now let's see what they're at the table. Okay. Uh. I'm lucky because I, I feel completely... I feel completely like comfortable with the decision. I am supported by everyone. I'll be by your side the whole time doing a procedure for you and the whole I'll be here. I just want to share my story. Oh, it feels good. Ah. Ooh. Now let's make orgasm noises. That's real good. Sell it to young women. There's only one thing better than sex, girls. That's getting a baby chopped up. I mean, this is what's actually happening here. How to sell human sacrifice in three minutes. You actually hear this? This evening? I'm done. I'm done. It was like 30 seconds. Even though it took 30 minutes. Bye. Thank you. To watch it unedited in four wars. I can't shut up. It is about a month and a half after the procedure. It is so now. good. I feel uh. like I talk to women all the time, and they're like, "Of course, everyone feels bad about this. Of course, everyone's gonna feel guilty, as if it's a given how people should feel about this. No. That what they're doing is wrong. I don't feel like a bad person. I don't feel sad. I feel in awe of the fact that I can make a baby. I oh. can make a life." I knew that what I was going to oh, do was see, right. it's life. Because it was right for me. Inverted no truth. Total Satanism. I just want to share my story. This is the most satanic thing I've ever seen. I can officially say, watching that for like the third time today, that is the most satanic thing I have ever seen in my life. And the Democrat websites are promoting it as trendy. They've got all the trendy guys with the big beards. And you're young and we can wear sexy suits and have fun. And you deserve it. Paul Watson joining us from Albion, from London. Uh, what do you make of this? Do you agree with me that this is the most satanic thing I've ever seen because of the cooing and the orgasm noises and everything? Clearly, it's all staged to sell this to everyone. Um, I would question if she even had an abortion. Watson, what do you say? It's absolutely chilling, Alex. I mean, the the response that I got immediately was that, oh, it's it's her right to choose. But of course, that's not even what this is about. It's about the enjoyment of the procedure. This is a sacrament. Uh, uh, it's joyous. Yeah, she's. I mean, watch the video. She's literally humming, cooing with a big beaming smile on her face while this is going on. She's enjoying it, and then she lords it in a subsequent cosmopolitan piece. But the good news is. If there is any good news to come out of this, there's a poll on Huffington Post which asks, do you think Emily Letts' abortion film is A, delusional, and abortion is never a positive experience, or B, inspirational and celebrates the empowerment of having a choice? This is the Huffington Post. 60% think it's delusional and that abortion shouldn't be celebrated. Well, I mean, look, it's obviously like a cult training video. I mean, it looks like Hale Bop 
cult videos or something. I'm just so happy. Greatest day of my life. Ooh, uh, uh. I mean, this is this is off the chart. I'll guarantee you that was written by the CIA or Planned Parenthood. What do you think? Uh, it's actually the video has actually been out since March and it only went viral today. It had 30,000 views as soon as it got picked up by most of the media today. It's, it's doubled in views, of course, the thumbs down comments have doubled because initially she said she got an overwhelming wave of support for making this video. But when actual people in significant numbers began to see it, you know, the, the thumbs down comments on YouTube are running into the thousands already. And even the liberals, even the lefties are aghast at this because, you know, as I wrote in the article, is it too much to ask for these people to at least be somber, solemn and regretful for killing a baby, even if you think that's the Oh, I'll choice. guarantee you, if they saw somebody, you know, killing a rabbit for dinner, they would freak out and want you arrested calling it inhumane. Uh, and, and I and, and I don't like the inhumane treatment of animals, but what about a human, a baby? Have some reverence if you're going to kill it. At, at least, you know, act respectful, act solemn. It's it's absolutely chilling. But then, of course, the the the, the abuse of women's rights in places like Iran and Afghanistan is completely ignored. You know, women getting stoned to death stabbed for not wearing a burqa or a veil. Oh, they all the trendy CIA uh, floozies and, 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 and establishment bimbos, prostitutes like Gloria Steinem, you'll never hear a word about that because the CIA policy is to put jihadis in and enslave women. Exactly. And I mean, it's not only this example, you've mentioned others. In March, I wrote another article about the DC abortion fund, which actually had a, a donation drive. They offered people coat hanger pendants in reference to the vile method of using a coat hanger to perform an abortion, if you donate a ten dollars or more a month, then you got a coat hanger pendant, and that money went to pay for women in Maryland and Virginia to terminate their pregnancies. So this runs throughout the whole leftist pro-abortion movement. This lip-smacking celebration of killing babies like some horrific ancient pagan ritual. Well, that's the thing: is the lip-smacking. I mean, they told her to get in a really good move and try to be a seductress. I mean, she could get a job actually as a newsreader where they have the women do the seductress deal and the men actually think looking through the television, you know, the woman's really aroused by them. She is like trying to seduce women here into being for abortion. It was clearly highly scripted and very sick. And it just shows the spirit of this, the abject craziness of these people. And keeping the sonogram as a memento, again, just makes it doubly sick. Yeah, she says in there, if you didn't hear it, folks, uh, the video's up on Infowars.com. I'm keeping this to remember it. I mean, my God, I later learned where an abortuary was where one of my kids got killed in Austin, and I can't drive by it. Literally, I almost run off the road and start crying. And these people are like wanting to have a memento and celebrate it and remember it. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products, and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip.